Hey Cancer, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of September 27th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, as always, if you're seeking a psychic reading, it's JackieTomlin.com or you will find a link in the description box below. Okay, so this is a week about getting what you want. It's also a week of one door closes, one door opens. Okay. Um, you may feel a little bit restless as we enter Mercury retrograde. This is the time frame of the unexpected. It will stick with you for the next three weeks. And it's the calm before the storm. You get the rest that you need when you need it. New opportunities will also present itself. There is a warning here for you to slow down, whether it's in a vehicle or just slowing down personally or generally. And two energies that may or may not resonate for my cancers are a Sagittarius and a Scorpio energy. Okay, so we'll see what we have going on here. Cancer, this is your week of the 27th. We're going to start the week off with the moon. And the moon is about divine timing. Everything in the week of the 27th is going to be about divine timing. Which is fine, but it may give you the feeling that you feel like you're banging your head against the wall or you're not getting anywhere. Okay, do what you can. Let that energy go because it is about divine timing. Page of Swords coming in. Happy, carefree, aloof. Maybe taking a day off just to play. I like that energy. Uh, also, a Taurus may or may not resonate. We have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands says that there's been a lesson that you learned very hard in the past. But because of that, your ship is going to come in. And we have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands. There's still some challenges. Okay, uh, for some of you, I'm torn between, say, a working career and saying it's at home in the family life. There are still some challenges ahead, and you are under that energy of the unexpected. Center of the reading, you guys are covered. There's the magician, number one card in the deck. This is the one that says, this is your yes answer. This is everything you want and desire. It will override everything here in your reading, um, and you're going to have to trust it, Okay. So, guys, I can't make that up. There's the chariot right beside it. Two best cards in the deck. Chariot, the same thing. You get what you want and desire, except for it comes in when you totally and least expect it, and it's going to come rushing in. With that, you have a celebration of some sorts. There is the Three of Cups. This is an unexpected get-together. This could be like dinner out, cookout, something like that. Just uh, three or more people, but yeah. Really good energy. And you have the Eight of Wands. And I love the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is total happiness, total contentment, love arrows flying around. And we have the energy of the Fool. Now, the Fool says, um, you're happy, go lucky, carefree, but be warned of foolish decisions. But says you're ready to take a leap of faith. You know, I mean, Cancer, you're setting on the Magician, the Chariot, and the Fool. I don't think I've seen such an awesome rating for you guys in quite some time. So, let's go a little bit further with these messages, starting at the top with the Moon. And that's where I want to tell you, dig for your patience. You know, it is about divine timing, so just breathe and relax. And on that Moon energy, we are still in your week of the 27th, the first week of Retro. With the moon comes the empress. Now, for some of you, this could also indicate news of a pregnancy, but this is the mother card and positive changes on the home front. With that, we have the page of swords comes the page of cups. Unexpected offer of assistance. For some of you, it could be an unexpected offer of love. I want to throw out a Pisces energy as well. And then we have on that three of wands. There again, eight of wands has occurred here twice. Twice in this reading, the total happiness, the contentment, and the love arrows. With the Five of Wands energy comes the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is very simple. Financially, you're being restored. You're being reinstated. You're getting your balance back. You're getting your mojo back. Uh, believe it or not, you're actually going to have the money to help someone else out. So you're, you're doing well. On your magician is the Three of Wands again. Uh, the waiting for the ship to come in. And on the chariot energy comes the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords energy. This could be Virgo type energy. Um, someone who may kind of lash out at you, may get a little catty with you. I don't see a confrontation, but you do need to know it's present. 
On the Three of Cups, we have, again, the Page of Swords, Taurus again. Happy, carefree, go lucky, friendships, things are good. Eight of Wands comes again with the Chariot. Wow, double chariots and a magician. The unexpected, the unexpected, you get everything you want, okay? This is beautiful. And on the full, we have the Four Swords. This is the calm before the storm. Enjoy. You've got an awesome week ahead. It's telling you to enjoy and savor every moment. Knight of Wands coming into play. Okay. It doesn't mean this week, but this is someone moving in the home. Someone moving out the home. If there's no movement, it is a major renovation around the home front. Cancer, you've got a perfect week ahead. Enjoy. So thank you guys for watching. Um, have a wonderful week. JackieTomlin.com. See you next week. Bye.